All right, check one, two. What's going on? What's going on? Tuesday nights, the talk of the town right here. John Blaze, heavy duty core DJs, Icon Radio, the home of quality independent music. And, uh, man, we're starting uh, the talk of the town a little early tonight. You know what I'm saying? We got my man Big Hef in the building. Yeah. What's going on, sir? What's poppin'? How you doing? I'm feeling great, man. It's cactuses and, and heat. Going, going on around here right now. It's a lot of heat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. It's, yo, uh, you, you're on tour right now, right? Sir, Streets Most Wanted Tour, man. Um, it's my West Coast edition. We're on our way to the BET Awards. So started off in Vegas yesterday. Tonight, Phoenix at the Wasted Grain. Yep. And um, tomorrow, we're in San Diego. So we're going to have some fun all week long, man. That's dope, man. Yo, uh, six, is, it, is it the 602 or the 480? Which it's, one? It's, which the, one? it's both of those plus 623 plus a whole other. A lot I forgot of, about the A lot of, a lot of out, out of Arizona uh, area codes now. There's so many people from out of state, man. It's crazy. Yeah, I feel like, you know, this is like one of the spots people move to and just have a chill, cool life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Just, they do. Yo, good. like every other day, I mean, somebody from like Chicago, Detroit, and, you know, they're just like, yo, we love it in Arizona and it's wide open and. They say it's a gold mine. I don't know. It is. I don't know. That's a fact. I'm here. That's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here. I'm looking for the gold. No. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, so uh, you uh, the last time you were in Arizona, you were here for the Arizona Hip Hop Festival. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was hoping we could do a lot more then, but that was like the busiest day. It was probably the busiest hip hop yeah. day y'all had. That in was a long the time. biggest situation in a long time, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But uh, we'd love to have you back, man. We got to put something together. We man. do. We got to put something really dope together. We I, definitely do. I want to put together like a conference or something out here. You know, uh, that's kind of one of the reasons that like a lot of people, you know, complain in Arizona because there is so much talent, but like there's no outlets, there's nowhere to go, there's no one for them to be seen, you know, anyone for them to, to be seen by. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you have a tour you're obviously on right now, uh, the Streets Most Wanted Tour. What is this about? Uh, it's an artist awareness tour. Like usually I have, you know, some of the newer artists that's either about to be signed or just got signed. And, you know, we, we take them around and do the fundamental things that, you know, on the development side that we need to put together for an artist. So everything research as well. And, um, you know, we have some fun, man. It's about breaking yeah. new artists. I'm always aligning myself with the next wave. Last year we had uh, T Grizzly on tour yeah. with us. We had TK Kravitz. So uh, Trap Beckham was on this earlier leg of, of the tour in the Midwest. So it's, you know, we just have some fun, man, breaking new artists. Yeah. How long have you uh, been in the industry? In the industry, man, huh. well, it's been a while. I think this is my 15th year. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you got to be in for a while if, if you're big half now because, yeah, you know, yeah, you might have came in the game as half. I was young half. A little half, right? and now you big half. <laughs> <laughs> so now you the boss status now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's but, definitely been growing. I, I feel like sometimes I'll be telling, like, I feel like Forrest Gun, where I just tell stories and people be like, nah, you couldn't have been there. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I was there. Yo, but it's got to be crazy because the way the industry is now compared to like probably when you first got in or yeah. have seen it, you know, that's, I think, what the biggest thing is for an independent artist. You know, here at Icon Radio, we work with a lot of independent artists yeah. and the game is changing. Even for, for people like yourself who've yeah. been in it a long time, how are, you, how are you guys adapting? I mean, what are you, are you expecting? Did you guys see this coming? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you, you kind of get a hand. You got to plan ahead. Right. I would say you got to plan ahead. So now it's just adapting to the technology and how fast things are able to move and process when doing releases, and you know, and did just catching everything up afterwards. So right. You know, so and, and I think with a lot of stuff with the analytics and you know, I'm a numbers guy now. I feel like, and you know, so we can take and see what songs fit that artist best to right. put, you know, the bigger push behind it. You said numbers. Yeah. Uh, social media numbers, social media views. numbers. What's the most important views. thing for an artist to learn right now? Right now is just your social media engagement mm. numbers. I think that's the bigger thing. So how okay. many people talking about an artist? What do they like about the artist? You know, what what can they be engaged? What what kind of story this artist going to tell that that's going to make these people believe in them? Right. Yeah. As far as the music though, I mean, you got to have a hit record, right? You got to have a hit. What 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 a hit? What's a hit to you though? Because every artist is like, yo, I got the hottest shit, you know. And then I hear it, and I'm like, nah, it's not. It's not. Hot. Because as a DJ, like, cause you're a DJ too, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we know a record when we right. hear it, so it's got to have that 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 whatever that it. Yeah. You know, I think it just gotta have that vibe, right? And I, I think like a lot of times now, it's 
you having a club record and a radio record at the same time. Same time. Yeah. So it's going to give that that the, the long life, longevity of a record to be even more. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. You got to, I mean, in the day and age we're at right now, there's a new record. I'm sure your email gets flooded every day. Crazy. With 10 new records. Crazy. You know, so, um, you know, you got to stand out. Uh, when standing out, how important is it, man, with, with quality? Star quality, man. I look for people that's different, completely different, because you're gonna. it's going to take a year to develop an artist. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if they're sounding like last year, it's just not going to work. A lot of cats sound like 1995. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's not going to work, right? It's not, not going to work. work. It's not going to work. <laughs> All right, so when you guys are looking for an artist, though, like like tonight in Scottsdale at Waste of Grain, yeah. uh, 7 p.m., doors open, uh, what are you looking for? What are the qualities you're looking for? I know you guys are curious about Arizona because no one's really popped in Arizona. I mean, yeah. Futuristic is doing his thing right here. Yeah. Um, but what are you exactly looking for? Are you looking for somebody who's already going? Or are you looking for somebody you can help develop? Both. I mean, I, I think, like, as long as they got something going on yeah. that we can help develop, it, it makes more sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the day and age of just taking somebody that's super, super raw, wasting, like, six months to figure that out is kind of gone. So, mm. like I said, we, 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 the the process moves a lot faster now, and you know you gotta you gotta catch up to the game. Are you uh, is Def Jam still prov- like giving record deals? Are they the same today as they were ten years ago, twenty years ago? It depends on the artist, and it, it depends on that 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 kind of like who's wrapping their arm around you to bring you into the game. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, they're still doing deals. Um, 300 still doing deals. Capital still doing deals. The music business hasn't stopped. Like yeah. a lot of people think that it's dead or it's changed, but it's changed. Pretty much everybody that is saying that they're independent are signed to a major. Record. Why is that though? Because I mean, obviously we have an independent radio station, but it seems like independence winning. And like you know, independence. It's tough to be an independent. It's very. It's, so it's why very would you want to say you're an independent? To say you did it on your own. But a lot of times they'll partner. Like. A lot of times, right now, we're doing more partnerships than just signing people. Right. So, it's not just having John Blaze sign as an artist. It's who's the guy right next to John Blaze that's mm-hmm. going to be hot so we can bring a family, we can bring a movement, movement So, you can build industry. something. Yeah. So Build like a TDE. Yeah. You know, we got to create a movement. I see. I understand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's the most surprising thing that you've seen just, like, working in, in, in your field, man? Because, I mean, you're an A&R, right? Yeah. So what's the most like what's, what's the most surprising thing that you've seen along the way? Man, uh, right now is to me is the reality superstars of taking the money of the low budget rappers. Mm. That's just a crazy. I mean, that's crazy to me because they're out working a lot of people because so, they're being seen. They're being they're able to monetize off their social media. You know, so it's, yeah. it's, it's the Instagram models. Yeah, that, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, should the artist focus on making a, a, a hit single, or should they focus single. on an EP album? Single, single, single. Get a single popping. EP can come afterwards. Radio record, just a club record. There's no like, ra- there's no quote unquote radio records anymore. Right. So unless you're Rihanna or Beyonce or something mm-hmm. like that, there's no quote like. If you get it popping in a club, it's gonna transfer into radio regardless. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So just get it popping in a club, and beat the streets up. It'll transfer in a radio. Which artist right now, maybe someone who, who you've worked with, um, could you point at and be like, look, watch what he's been doing the last five years. Last five? I mean, you know, five, maybe two. Uh, I got to say, I, well, one, I got to give a shout out to T Grizzly. I think he's doing an amazing job yeah. playing off his social media. Which, which I felt like he deserved the freshman cover, but hey, yeah. who am I? Yeah, and um, five years, probably Drake. Drake Drake's... You know he's on top right now. So. Yeah, I mean he's yeah he's definitely. Is I like top. the comeback that Kanye just did over the last month. You know what I'm saying? Do you so, think, so. think do you, the way he released the seven records, you know, seven songs on each album a week after he's changing the culture? That's going to be something we're going to see quite a bit now, right? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's changing the culture and then the dynamic of what, how fast we're we're like he's literally uploading the albums hours before, two hours before. That's crazy. It gets released nationally, <laughs> and then having a number one streamed album over two hundred million streams wild. in a day. So Yo, it's crazy. The way streams and everything's working now, too, though, like, is it a better time to be an artist or a record label with streams? And you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, I mean, you have to balance it out and find other revenue streams in the music industry now. Uh-huh. So it's just about like it's about brand partnerships. So 
you know, not only just having a record deal, it's the deal that's going to, it's almost like you're an athlete. So it's the deal with Puma, it's the shoe deal, it's the mm. clothing deal, it's the, the brand ambassador, you know what I'm saying? So you just got to find the correct partnerships that's going to fit your style of music and your genre, and I'm good. What advice do you give a young artist who's just trying to make it, you know what I'm saying, that they're, they're, they're trying to be heard. They maybe they live in a market that doesn't have a lot of industry networks. What Listen, do they do? There is not a unlocked door. No, there's not a locked door for your city. You feel me? Mm. Like you can easily, if you're in Phoenix, there's no reason why you can't drive to LA two times. You know what I'm saying? Every other month. Yeah. Um, there's no reason why you can't drive to Vegas. Mm. And you gotta, you know. Go make those connections and those alliances, and then you bring them back home. Absolutely, absolutely, you know, absolutely. You know. Okay, yo. So with this showcase, um, you you hit Vegas and you hit to San Diego next. Yeah. Um, again, what what happens when you do find an artist? Because a lot of people have high expectations, you know, and I'm sure you're aware of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. But like, what do you do? Like, what what should they expect? Um, it just like I said, I always just look for star quality. If it's somebody that I really like and I, I'm, I'm like in the wall, yeah, I really pick up the phone and make some, you know, I make a couple calls and hopefully we can have some more serious conversations, you know, right, to, right. to to progress the artist and then see what they need as far as the development side, mm -hmm. and then we can take it to another level. Okay, yeah, that's what's up. So man. you know, uh, um, are you as an A and R? You probably get a lot of music, but I'm sure you have people filtering music before it gets to you. Facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, which I, I now need a filter because it's crazy. Yeah. Um, realistically, though, how many, per, what percentage of records are actually, you know, something that you could actually possibly work with that you get sent? Maybe 10%, 10, 20? Maybe 10. 10%? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's on a good side, yeah. 10%. Yeah. But I feel like with the filters that go on between, like, the people that I have around me and just the people that I work with right. as well, that... It's a lot of quality stuff coming out, right? You know what I'm saying. So it's kind of like you, a lot of the under underground stuff. I don't get a chance to get all the time no more. Yeah, but you know some stuff that people got going on. They're okay. ready to take their careers to the next level. So you know either I have to do a distribution deal or something like that with them. You right. Know what I'm saying? So Opportun good. opportunities, good. man. Opportunities. Big yeah, half. Yeah. You got the radio show still. Radio show. Big half radio show. Twenty three markets, man. We out here moving. Okay. What's up with the Nerve DJs? Nerve DJs. Fifteen year anniversary this year, man. We're gonna have Ooh. some fun in Cleveland. Uh, two, uh, September twenty first through the twenty third in Cleveland, Ohio, man. Come and rock out with us. I'm gonna invite you. I yeah. want you to come speak on the panel. I'm, 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 I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. I'll be there tonight too. Wasted Grains in Scottsdale. Yeah. Uh, where can people follow? Follow me on Twitter, B I G H E F F. If you'd like to see it in a picture format, it's Big Hef Midwest Fresh. I really represent the Midwest, but I'm all over the country now and it's really going crazy, man. Okay. Man. Okay. Is anybody getting a record bill tonight or man. tomorrow? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you never I don't know. you know what I'm saying? I don't want to go in as like I'm about to you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. I let the talent dictate it for me. It's so. a process. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a process, man. Like nothing happens overnight. So I like you know, like at end of time it's a time investment one mm -hmm. and then two, let's see where you're really at, what what climate you're really at that you can go on a national. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now we, we're we're geo doing a lot of stuff where we wanna break them through the region first and mm. then you know, take them to a national situation. Okay. That's yeah. what's up. Hey, man, appreciate you coming through. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're always welcome here. I mean, we are the home of quality independent music. So, like, you know, there's a lot of artists in our rotation right now that I think Big Half needs to, you know, I'm going to send them with a nice care package yeah. or something. <laughs> send me the music. I respect the underground, man. That's where I came from. Hey. hey. Appreciate it. Appreciate that, man. We got to have you back, too. Maybe we can set up some kind of panel, think of something like that, um, but we're, you're here a little bit longer. Okay. Once again, once again, my man, Big Hef in the house. Yeah. All right. All right, man, come tonight. Uh, Waste of Grain, the Scottsdale. You know, the core DJs are building a bit of one-on-one. -on -one. The Beat will be in the building. Shout out to Poker Face and the Beat Locker, DJ Marvel, uh, DJ Three, core DJs, and myself be in the building, man. All right, so come through tonight. Scottsdale. One more time, shout out to Big Hef. Yeah. Keep it like Icon Radio, Talking to Town, Tuesday.